Hey everybody, John and Good here. Finally, we are empty. Jiminy Crickets. Do you know what? I had a wonderful time sitting out there in the uh, out in the street. I was I was parked and people left me alone. Nobody bothered the truck. I had an amazing restful day. So yeah, I guess yesterday was my weekend, right? As of now, I really don't know what the boss has in, in store for me. So once again, today is Saturday. March 14, 2020, and the temperature here is 48 degrees, but I tell you what, the sun is just as hot as hot could be, seems like I'm actually walking around with t-shirts on outside. So, even though we're empty, we gotta sit right here until they call us for our uh, our bills. So we'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hey everybody. All right, I guess. Uh, I guess the boss is sending me all the way to Mont Crawford to pick up a load. It's about 189 miles. All right, somebody requested that I put the camera on the back of the trailer. So there you go. Hopefully that will tickle your fancy. The local time here is 1.33. Temperature is at 53 degrees. So the plan is I'm going to go to the Flying J in Clear Brook, Virginia, get me a shower, get fuel, then I'm going to go to, there's a Walmart on the way to Mount Crawford. I always see truck parking over there, so time to do some groceries. I am completely out.
way, in response to the video that I put out, help me sell my Goldwing, uh, a lot of you have been guessing to what my next adventure is. Somebody said an e-bike. Somebody said it's a camper. Carlos Hernandez said it's a uh, chromed out Harley Davidson. Uh, what else is there? A few others played the guessing game. And nope, nope, nowhere near close. But even if, even if you did guess it, I, I won't tell. If it did ever happen, I will reveal it. If it did not, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, did you guys see? Did you guys see Shelby's? Uh, uh, recent video, Shelby Happiness by the Mile. She gave me a shout out. Wow, look at that, man. Woohoo! Thank you, Shelby. That was pretty cool of you, young lady. Town, Pennsylvania, traveling on Highway 309 North Interstate 78 West. Australia ordered 48 boxes of toilet paper. Instead, they got 48,000. They said it was good for, I don't know, two years? Ten years? I don't know what that was, but... Yeah. I don't understand. I tell you what, man, uh, the other day when I was getting fuel, it kind of, I wasn't really worried about it because, you know, I was intending to use the fuel app. I was intending to use the pilot fuel app. So I didn't have to touch anything, right? Only to find out that the fuel app wasn't working. 
So I had to touch the keypad, and you know, I'm not, I'm not one of those people that panic over that kind of stuff. But you know, there's still a certain healthy amount of cautionary and a little bit of scared. You know, who wants to get sick? Whether it's a regular flu or not. So when I was, I started pushing the buttons, I couldn't help but, you know, be reluctant, like, uh, really? But, eh, I don't know, you know? How is the coronavirus a little bit more dangerous than what I do every day? I really believe that my death is not up to me. Although, we do have the, oh, what is that called? The freedom to choose whether we want to die or not, right? I mean, we could certainly take our life. Ah, uh, what's uh, what's the word? You know, you can make your choice, freedom of choice. Uh, what's the biblical word for that? Uh, I can't think of it. <coughs> yeah, I mean, seriously, right? We do have to choose to be stupid and, and take our life. But I think for the most part in everyday life, I don't think it's really up to us. But remember folks, greater is he who is in us than the one that's in the world. Absent from the body, present with the Lord. But on the flip side of that coin is absent from the body, in the presence of, well, torment. crazy about dying. I mean, it, to me, death is just a, a doorway. You open the door, and you step right into heaven if you have confessed the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You open the door, you step into the other side. Bugga bing, bugga boom. But it's still, as human, I'm not crazy about the process of dying, I guess. I guess death is somewhat unnatural to us, right? Not according to me, but according to the Lord. He who confesses him as the Lord and Savior is saved. That's not up to us. It's up to him, according to him. But I still, I still wouldn't want to fall out of the sky and have the feeling of you're plunging to your death. Nobody takes pleasure of that. But the moment after death, I don't fear that. It's the one that's leading to.
Oy, oy, oy. I, uh, you know, recently I've added, I have subscribed to Epidemic Sound. It's kind of a music service for royalty free music. The way that works is you you become somewhat of a member and subscribe to them for $15 a month. And then you can have, you can pick among thousands and thousands and thousands of royal free music you can add onto your YouTube video. Problem is if you download those music and you put it on your YouTube videos and you're not subscribed to them, they will flag you. They will uh, you, they'll give you a copyright strike. So basically for $15 a month, they will give you some kind of a, a license to use their music. So that's what I did. I, I subscribed to Epidemic Sound for $15 a month. And for the most part, there's a lot of people out there that has enjoyed the music on the background. At first though, the, some people kind of thought that the music was too loud, which was what it was. So since then I turned it down, 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 down. Somebody said music should be able to, you could barely hear it. And I guess a lot of you like to listen to Grace's engine. And there are a few out there that don't care for the music. Eh, I don't know. What do I tell the people that likes them? At the same time, what do I tell the people that don't like them? Right? To me, the, the sense that I get out of it is that it pushes my creative limit. It, it, you know, it challenges me. To learn new stuff. Oh, I tell you, it, life would be so much easier without it. I mean, it takes a lot of work to get this music in the video. But I think it would be boring. <laughs> now let's take a little bit of a vote right here, right now. How many of you out there would rather watch a video, an hour long video, of nothing, the only background music, or the background sound is Grace humming down the road. How many of you would rather hear some music in the video with the humming of Grace? They had a problem with asking people what they want is you can never get enough answers to you know balance it out
time is uh, da -da -da -da, two o'clock. Temperature is 55 degrees. sa what, barangay road na nagpuyo ama si nung tunyo ay namatay na din siya it's a uh, ama si winston Dekat dia sa, wala dekat sa liung nak jago dia. Aye bantu gerak yang mana mak tegalung ka? Suk musta naman mu dia. Dengan dengan yang nyokua. Punca main yogi penagat. masumsuman ay ay wala ito ba ama o ba may nanto ba kay makakure sa Juan sa Corona uy sige ayo ayo Okay, bye bye. Namang ka. Tung. Tung.
Okay, the local time is 2.31, temperature is 53 degrees.
Hey everybody, Johnny B. Good here. Greetings from uh, Clear Brook, Virginia. Pathetic, isn't it? And this pure video is brought to you by Eli Sirk. Good afternoon, Eli. So far we got 75 gallons. We are located in Clear Brook, Virginia today. Just getting the truck fuel reefer fuel and cash vans. Got 98 gallons, 99 gallons, 100 gallons. There you go. Surely they can do better. Surely. Come to me. Let me put my arms around you. This is the head to be.
gosh, I hope we can find a place to park. The plan is we're gonna go find a place to park, get a shower. Well, we gotta get our cash advance first and foremost. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go get my cash advance, then try to find a place to park, take a shower, but if not, I mean, what I'm scared of is there might not be an available truck parking here. That will look like they're full. So let's go get a cash advance, find a place to park. If we can't find a place to park, then we'll go down the road and get a shower somewhere else. Instead of trying to find a place to park, there's no place to park. Now that we can't get our cash van, so let's do that. It's working. Uh, I got my cash advance. I don't know if we're going to be able to find a place to park. I really, really, really doubt it. go that way when it's already like a zoo. Let's go this way.
So I'm just gonna eat lunch. I bought some lunch from the counter already. I'm just gonna eat lunch here in the truck and then we'll go. Maybe one of those trucks in front of us would open up. Put it back in there. Alright, we'll see you guys later. Peace. Well, I thought I'd share this with you. I mean, it would be quite rude of me if I didn't share it. Okay, this is a meatloaf dinner. Alright. And two bottles of soda is $14.95 I tell you uh, that is very very expensive and they say yeah truck drivers make a lot of money maybe so but <laughs> they also rob us with a lot of money right oh, come on. yeah all right catch you later